All right, number four about getting great people photography is, of course, the poses, how you pose somebody. Okay, let's start off with the absolute worst pose in the world, and everybody does it. So again, as the photographer, you take control and stop your subjects from doing this. But you're like, hey, let me take your photo. They stand stiff. They stand directly facing, shoulders facing the camera, and they it's like deer in the headlights, and they, they you know, cheesy smile, all this stuff. That is the worst photo, okay? And, and, and never, ever take that photo. Again, take control, grab your person, move them around a little bit. Well, don't grab them, but you know, take control of the situation and really uh, get them to pose right. Okay, so let's go over the poses. I have a list. Here we go. Here are the top poses that I use, and they are, for the most part, um, not really gender specific. Boys can do them, girls can do them. Uh, you know, it's just whatever makes you feel comfortable, pick a pose that you like. And let's go with them here. Okay, so we've already talked about the worst pose. Never do that. Here are all the ones you can do. Um, arm on knee. This is a great pose. Uh, of course, you have to be on the ground to be able to do this, but arm on knee is a nice pose. It's kind of natural, casual. It looks really great. Uh, the second one is crossed arms. Yeah, this one makes everybody look cool. Yeah, you cross your arms. Sometimes this is combined with one that's coming up later on, the last one called the lean. But crossed arms, can't go wrong with crossed arms. Looks really good, makes everybody look great. Uh, okay, um, this one, crossed legs. This is sitting down, it's a nice casual position. Cross your legs, kind of put your arms where they naturally kind of go there and it just is a nice, nice shot. As a photographer, get down low, get a shot. Don't be shooting this from standing up height. Get down low and get the person in a nice shot with crossed legs. Okay, the next pose is face in hands or sometimes one hand, but you kind of basically, you use your hands to hold your face and it looks really great. So give that one a try. Um, another one here is hand on hip or hands on hip, kind of, Tilt over to one side, put a hand on a hip there. And again, it is, these are all just changing that basics, you know, straight look at the camera by just adding a little bit of movement and, and just changing to the body shape. And it just really makes the photo look better. So that's called hand on hip. Uh, this is another great one. It kind of works with a table in front of you, but it's called hand on neck. Okay, hand on neck. And that's another great shot. It makes uh, everybody look good. It, it just is a natural feeling. Make sure it looks natural. Make sure that your subject is doing it naturally. Um, this one, I don't have a lot of examples on, but it's a really nice one here. And it's called looking back. And it's when you you kind of, your body is facing away from the camera or sideways to the camera. And then the person looks back at the camera. Great shot. And then the last one, one of my favorite ones is called the lean. And it's when you just get your subject to lean up against something and it makes for a real casual kind of like, hey, I'm just hanging out here, getting my photo taken kind of look. And those are gonna be great. So go ahead, try those all out, each one of them, give them a try and see uh, what your subject looks like in these photos.